Autobots, roll out! My name is Optimus Prime! Be gone! Hello everyone, I'm Cyberverse Prime, and today we're going to be taking a look at the... Um... I'm not sure if it's APC Toys. Um, it says here on the box, Gear Master. Um, uh, maybe it is APC Toys. I just, uh, I don't know. Um, but I guess it's APC Toys because it has the same styling of artwork and everything that the APC Toys boxes have. So I'm guessing um, this is APC Toys' as Wander Warrior, a.k.a. T, uh, um, TF Prime Wheeljack. And this is an awesome figure. Um, that is a uh, toy hack sticker, actually. Um, that does not come on the figure at all. Um, so just be mindful of that. The Autobot logo does not come with um, this figure. What does come with this figure are two alternate heads, which is really cool. There's a close-up of one of them. That's his gritting or yelling face. And it looks really good. Looks just like it did in the show. Looks really, really good. Then the other one, you got his, you got a smirk here. That's so Wheeljack from TF Prime. These are these are probably the best uh, alternate face sculpts I've ever seen from APC Toys. So those are the two alternate heads that you get. You get his guns. Which kind of look weak on the figure, to be honest. Come on, focus. There we go. Those are his two guns. Come on, focus. Are you going to focus? Focus on the guns. <laughs> there we go. There's the guns. Really cool looking things. But they kind of look weak on the figure. And then you get two alternate swords, which are a little more show accurate, I assume. Because uh, the ones that I have are the toy base ones, and I actually prefer those over these because these don't stay in his hands worth a damn. But uh, yeah, those are really cool accessories that you get with um, the APC Toys Wander Warrior or Wheeljack from TF Prime. And here's a closer look at the figure himself. Um, other accessory, oh yeah, the other accessory he comes with is um, his grenade. I'm going to remove that for now because um, I need to uh, um, <laughs> be able to transform him later. So yeah, so there he is holding the other swords, which look, uh, they look a little bit better to me. Because uh, these, the other ones that I have right here, they do not stay in his hands um, very well. These somewhat stay in his hands a little bit better, but not by much. So, now in Cliff Jumper's video, I didn't go over the articulation. I will with this figure because there is one important aspect that you can kind of see here that the original figure didn't have, and that is bicep swivel. Look how much of a difference that makes. I don't know why Hasbro didn't incorporate bicep swivel on the original figure. I thought the original figure had it, but I always remembered struggling trying to get Wheeljack into a decent pose. Um, and now, now that I know why that was, it's because the original had no bicep. This one does. It also has um, um, finger articulation right here. I guess to try and grip some of the swords better. Um, that, that may be the case, but I'm not 100% sure. So... Is this the right one that goes into his arm? It, it, this might not be the right one, but here's Wheeljack with one of the guns. Looks pretty accurate to the show. And then here he is holding the other sword. Now, you can kind of see what I mean. It, it fits in quite loosely. So, it's. I'm guessing this is how you're supposed to have him grip him is with that hand but still it it just loves to um fall out so i don't display him with them and to replace the head actually 
it's um pretty simple you lift oh um before i do that um to uh, his articulation is ball joint here not a whole lot of range of movement bicep swivel now which is really good um wrist swivel which is a ball joint and then the weird finger articulation oh these can move all the way in i did not know oh they don't i don't know i don't know what's real anymore with these damn figures <laughs> so you get a ball joint swivel here you got a ball joint no that's a universal joint now oh cool i did not know that so that's a i think that is yeah that's new to this figure that's a universal joint on there you get a bice bicep thigh swivel you get a single jointed knee and you get ankle pivot sort of so to do um the head swapping is pretty easy you just kind of unfold all of this and then you um you pop it off the ball joint here and um you put one of the new ones on but i'm not going to show that off because um I'm going to go ahead and go into the transformation. And if you don't know the transformation by now, um, oh man, there you go. So you flip that piece up and you just saw what I did there. So the rest should be straightforward. Um, the feet are awesome to transform. This is my favorite part of the whole transformation is you flip this in, flip that in, you flip this around, you slide that piece down. And then you tab that in. That's so satisfying. Hasbro, why can't we get transformations like this again? Like, dude. Oh, tap that in. And then the arms are fairly easy. You just kind of get these to whatever position you may like. And then you want to extend this part out oh man come on ah come on rotate that oh yeah rotate this in collapse this in that's that should be good to go then you do the same thing over here collapse all of this together uh, this is on a little track here. You fold that, you pull it out, fold the hand in. Then you kind of make sure the head is evenly. Um, you want to make sure the head is even to where you're able to uh, make sure everything collapses and tabs in together very well. Then you rotate this part down. sure all of this is folded in I think okay I'm doing something incredibly wrong here no 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 not okay yeah there we go oh, what the I gotta go off camera a second guys I'm sorry Okay, I apologize. I got I managed to get this whole entire side pretty much collapsed onto itself. It's um the head and the uh the head and crotch were interfering with each other. So that's something to be kind of wary about. You fold that in just like that. And then there you go. There is well Yeah, there's Wheeljack in his alt mode, and very cool, very reminiscent of the original as well. And I'm not gonna lie, this is um, probably one of the best ones that APC Toys have done. Um, I, I really enjoy this, and I really enjoy the cliff jumper that they did. But I'm not done yet. These serve a purpose. I'm not sure if you know, but the guns rotate just like that. You see that little detail from the gun itself. If you rotate those just like that, 
and you put them in here, you can make wheel jacks um, bumper to be completely filled out, which is really cool. So this one goes on this side. Maybe. Sorry, this is taking longer than anticipated. Oh, come on, man. So there's that one. And then there's this one. So, hell yeah, man. This is so cool. When I found this out, I did not know that. So it covers... This looks so much better. So it fills out the gap at the front of the car, which is so nice. And I just think that is such a cool, badass feature that APC Toys didn't have to do. Now, I believe these are Dr. Wu weapons, so I believe they did it first. But... Wow, that that's such an upgrade. I wish this part was white to kind of, kind of go half. It's just just to make it look a little bit better. But you know, I can't I, I can't complain too much. But anyways, guys, there's my latest two reviews on APC Toys Cliff Jumper and um, Wheel Jack. I'm very satisfied with both figures. Um, I got these this year. Um, same with Bulkhead. Um, pretty soon I'm going to be doing a review on RC and then, uh, after RC, we'll take a look at, um, maybe some of the other, um, prime characters that I already have, or we'll take a look at other APC toy stuff. Cause I have more than just, um, these five Autobots. So anyway, thank you all for watching. Stay tuned, keep it real, and I'll see you all later. Peace.